The FBI ramping up security across the bureau after a gunman tried to attack the Cincinnati field office. Director Christopher Wray announced the move in a message to FBI staff yesterday. He said he's focused on the safety and security of agency workers, facing an increase in threats following the Mar-a-Lago raid. The move comes as we learn more about the suspect in yesterday's attack. Police say this man, Ricky Schiffer, tried to breach the Cincinnati field office yesterday morning. They say he even pulled out an AR-15 before leading cops on a chase through rural Ohio. Then they say he refused to surrender. Cops say an hours-long standoff ended when the suspect pointed a gun at officers and they shot and killed him. The suspect appears to have made menacing posts on social media before the attack and after the FBI searched Mar-a-Lago. Now, FBI officials say they'd previously made attempts to locate and interview him, but were unsuccessful. CNBC's Perry Russum now with more on the suspect. A social media account apparently tied to Ricky Schiffer calls for people to arm themselves ready for combat, writing FBI agents should be killed on site. The posts on Truth Social, a platform founded by President Trump, were sent after the FBI raid at Mar-a-Lago. Schiffer apparently posting during the attack at the FBI office in Cincinnati. Well, I thought I had a way through bulletproof glass and I didn't. If you don't hear from me, it is true. I tried attacking the FBI. Video appears to show Schiffer in D.C. the night before January 6th. And the cops came out with the pepper spray. And outside the Capitol the day of the insurrection. Schiffer's neighbors say they were evacuated from their homes in Cincinnati last night as the FBI searched his apartment. New video shows the police chase on a highway in Ohio later ending in his death. He armed with body armory, fired several shots at officers. A scary situation and we're living on, on unprecedented times. Larry Cosme is the president of the Federal Law Enforcement Officers Association. He calls Schiffer's apparent posts online extremely dangerous. The men and women of the FBI, the rank and file, they do an outstanding job. They, they want to uphold the Constitution of the United States. And, uh, and I would say that, you know, they're carrying out the mission of, of the FBI. They're, they're not uh, the ones that they're not the deciding officials. Republican members of the House Intelligence Committee speaking today after a member of their party called to defund the FBI. We condemn any actions of violence against any law enforcement personnel. We have concerns today primarily in the leadership. There's a way to be depoliticalize this. Give us the information. Republican Congressman Brian Fitzpatrick is a former FBI agent. If we ever get to a point where we lose the faith of the public, it impacts all of us. It impacts our national security. And we have some new information on Schiffer. He was in the Navy for five years and had top secret clearance. And Kayla, as you mentioned, he was on the FBI's radar after being at the insurrection. They were trying to find him for an interview, but could not. Kayla.